behalf of the association and Kentucky State University, we feel very honored tonight to be able to present one of the true giants in jazz. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. J.J. Johnson. I, of course, am your friendly neighbor from Indiana.
This is fun, don't you? <laughs> you bet you it is.
close out this set with an oldie but a goodie. And the saints go marching in.
bus up. Come back, Jamie. <laughs> we like to bring front and center the gentleman who is not only a dear, dear friend, one of the nation's foremost jazz educators. He's been a dear friend to me in my quest to learn the art of being a clinician and conductor of a master class by sending me tons of material I've studied and studied, videos, audio cassettes. He is a giant of a musician on many levels. He's a marvelous tenor saxophonist as well. We'd like to feature him in a ballad. Here's Jamie Aversoul, one of my favorite human beings on this planet. Playing a beautiful ballad. Thank you. 
Thank mm-hmm. you.
a TV show, a morning talk show, very recently, where they, were, they interviewed B.B. King, legendary blues figure B.B. King. It was a talk show. They talked and talked and talked and talked and talked. And I think that B.B. King summed it up beautifully when he said, the blues is like a tonic, good for everyone, rich or poor, white or black, Japanese or Chinese, you name it, it's good for everyone, like a tonic. Isn't that neat of B.B. King to say that about the blues? Yeah.
tonight's activities and tonight's festivities and etc. with uh, a composition that has a rather complex title. It's a question within a question that answers its own question. When I moved from California to Indianapolis with my wife, and then people asked me that little question. Why would anyone move from California to Indianapolis? Why? So therefore, I wrote a song that we're going to close the set with. The name of the song is, Why Indianapolis? Why not Indianapolis? <laughs>
tell you what. I'll tell you what. That was it. <laughs> However, as the guys leave the stage and pack up their instruments and their tools and etc., I would like to offer as a solo tribute to the service personnel from the United States that over there in the Gulf War. <laughs> in a stupid war, I'd just like to put in my two cents worth on their behalf, a Cole Porter tune that Kay Wending and I did together as G and K. It's all right with me, and I'll do it acapella. Thank uh -huh. 